Hello everyone, welcome back to Material Energy Hypercube, myself Joe. Uh, first of all, I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, this is going to be episode number 12, which is going to be the Inclusion Chamber part, not Inclusion Chamber, I don't know why I even said that. Uh, this is going to be the Nether Sphere part 1. Uh, before we get decided to get inside there for a little bit, uh, I just want to show you real quick, as you can tell in the last episode, that we did come up with some sand in our one of our uh, network drives here. But before we go into there, I just want to show you. Uh, I did find out that the reason why my crops was not growing is because there's not enough light source around it. So I did open up a nice little window here, put a couple of these glowstone illuminators down, a couple of torches around, and now all my trees are growing instead of just this one here. And look at my crops. My crops are actually growing just as well. Now my pumpkins are are the only thing I need left on that quest line that is left to complete. Uh, I don't even know how many we got here. P M. That's that's an N M. God dang it! There we go. Fifty two. I just need sixty four. So we might actually have that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop these off as well because I don't need anything in my inventory that I, at the moment. Okay, those are two different torches. That's the made with cobblestone and that's just made with wood. Let's go ahead and get this opened up as well. Uh, there's a couple things I did find in the sand uh, dorm over there, but I, I want to show you that in a second. Look what I made. This is a Vulcanite excavator with a slimy handle. No, actually, it's a slamming binding with a Vulcanite handle and a Vulcanite uh, excavator frame. Look at this. It has got currently 22,971 durability. And believe it or not, I have broke this Vulcanite excavator three different times mining out, trying to mine out the sand area. Uh, it's got emerald, moss 3, and redstone 500. Uh, I didn't stick any moss on there whatsoever. The auto repair was all it. The... 50% durability, which is emerald, came from this as well. It was already built with reinforced too, but the haste, every modifier I've gotten on here so far, I have stuck haste on there because I wanted this thing to be so fast that I could just mine through this thing, no problem. The only problem I am having though is my inventory is only so big, so fortunately I gotta make multiple trips and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you remember from the last episode, this thing was pretty dang tall. Well, We've still got another 50-something 50, 50 blocks to go down. Or no, it was 30-something blocks to go down. So I've been slowly mining my way down. Uh, I have came up with four chests so far. I'm sure there's a lot more than this. So I just wanted to, I ain't even looked in them. I just wanted to leave all these for you all to see on camera. <clears throat> I figured it'd be pretty cool to take a look. Okay, so we got some just basic reward bags. Come on, guys quadruple cookies and a bunch more dang sand as if that's already what I needed. You know, I came up with 56,000 pieces of sand so far. 56,000. I cannot believe that. That's a lot of sand and that's just for this tiny little area. What we got here? Basic, basic, basic. Black steel head with 500 durability. Those are actually not very good. Starting to begin to think most of the loot in this place is not very good at all. Uh, I'm kind of curious, what happened to the sand that was on top of there? We got another one over here. And like I said, I want to show you all this on camera because if you are mining this out just like I am, I don't want you to waste your time mining all of this out when you know where the chests are at. And Lord, how mercy! Look at all these compressed cookies. We got two more basic, two more basic. Got a wooden, wooden, you know what, let's do this. Got two brass, four stone, four slimy, and four promethium. Still not very good, guys. I mean, I'll give them this. It's getting better, <clears throat> but it's still not very good. Oh, and that landed right on top of a torch. That's even better. Uh, we got one more in this corner back here. And look, look, guys, watch. Watch how fast this thing goes. Look at that. To 
believe it or not, I don't believe that can get any faster than that. Now, I could be wrong. I've got one more modifier, so I could be 100% wrong. But that's for another day. I'm just gonna do all this off camera. Uh, I've been bored pretty much. I ain't had time to make any videos. I did take the day off work today. So I'm thankful for that even though I'm losing quite a bit of pay on it, I'm able to come out here and at least enjoy the time I do get to spend with you, buddy, on, on YouTube. I've been kind of stuck as well, so unless I make more videos, I can't really go very far, so I've just been spending my boring time mining this area out. I mean, I've got nothing else better to do. What do we got? Are you kidding me? We got, wow, 23 obsidian shovel heads and 30 obsidian excavator heads. Those probably smelt down to get some obsidian, but look at all these cookies, guys. It's quite a bit of cookies. And bye-bye. Now, like I said, there's probably a lot more chests than this inside here. Uh, I've spent hours and hours and hours mining this out. And believe it or not, I still do not have a very good excavator like I want. And I cannot believe, I really could not believe how good Vulcanite really is towards this, building this tool. Uh, if you look at my armor, I've just got protection three, I've got projectile protection four, uh, unbreaking three, unstable two, which is not very good for leggings, but I'm glad it's not boots. And protection four, speed one, and unbreaking three. Now, that all sounds really good, but believe it or not, I've took a lot of damage with this armor, and I have repaired it multiple times. So, even though it sounds good, it really isn't. Good Lord, how mercy look at all of this sand. Uh, crap. Come on, man. I've got a lot of sand, guys. I know one thing. I had, I've got so much sand that I won't be needing glass for a very, very, very long time. Come on now. I don't know why it's not going in there. There we go. I just put that head in there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Dang it. Here, let's do this. Let's go over here and just dump all these off. I don't need any of them. I'd like to open up these reward bags before we head downstairs to change all this out. Uh, look at this, guys, here, too. I did take and make myself two 4K ME storage cells with all the tools and bits I already had from some of the quest lines, and they are just about full. Let's see what I got. Here we go. Okay. Look at all that. I still cannot believe at this time all the time I've put into this sand. I have started using... Crap, I did not want to do that. I have started using some of my, uh, some of my lava as well. God dang it, no. some of my lava in my drums, so that was pretty cool. No. Dang it. I'm going to spend most of my episode trying to figure all this out. Look, at 72,000 sand now. I was at 56 earlier. See if I how high I can get this thing. Hmm. 
We're at 73,000. No. And you know, you can run this thing through the mine cam and you're not gonna get very much out of it. It's a, uh, you can get a bunch of silicone out of it and that's about it. So it's not that much. Uh, we're at 75,000. See what else? 76,000. Sorry guys, it's taking so long. Hopefully we get something good out of these basic reward bags, to be honest. We, we kind of need some good stuff. Uh, I really could use the the stuff to, to run through my mine cam over here. So let's see what we get. Number one, we get a nether brick hoe and some seeds. Okay, well, I don't need any more seeds, but I don't know if Genistry or anything's like it's in this mod pack yet. Uh, we got obsidian throwing knives. I'll never use them. Reactor control, control. okay. We don't need any of that either. Let's go ahead and drop you off. I'm gonna take everything out here. I noticed something in this cabinet. Look at this, slimy pickaxe with 694 out of 800. Now, if we keep going to the right, we got another slimy pickaxe with 694 out of 800. Look at this, it duplicates itself in this thing. I think it's a glitch in the filing cabinet, but because if you look in here, there's not much in there. If we look real close, there is one slimy pickaxe, and it's the third row down all the way to the right-hand side. There's not more than one. It is a glitch. Comparators, more of you, saltpeter. Oh, crap, I want the salt out. Oh, what do we got? Universal Seeds. Tier one, what's in that? Oh, it's a universal seed, seed. Okay. We'll get into some of the universal seeds later. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot do that right now because of the part that I don't have any uh, soul sand. Crap. Wow, oh, that ain't supposed to be in there either. I'm trying to keep this as empty as possible, but we don't have any uh, soul sand so unfortunately we're not able to build that just yet what are we, what is this it's a just cactus jagged 1.6 seconds block it's not very good oh we got weighted pressure prey plate and that's it uh so yeah another thing is too is if you look over here here's a glitch if i take this and i just hold down the shift button and i run it back and forth look at this it starts slowly piling this junk up in my inventory uh, there's another thing, too, I wanted to show you. Um, is it this one? Yes. Where'd that go? Up there. If I stick this in here, I can drag out multiple of those. And it actually fixes it, too. So, I thought that was kind of weird. I figured that out in one of the beginning episodes. Oh, we got some more. I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this out real quick if you guys don't mind. And I will definitely be taking on multiple episodes today so we can go ahead and get some of this stuff going on the roll so I can go ahead and get a lot of this stuff taken care of for you guys. Uh, we're really close to completing that one. Go spatial I.O., hit the button, grab you out. What do we got? Uh, we're definitely not doing that. <laughs> Vanilla Mining, Rotunda, Nether Sphere. Here we go, guys. This is what we've been wanting, the Nether Sphere. And to be honest, I don't know why the weather keeps coming up. Is it... See, I never loaded anything. Is it because I never took him out? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, crap. almost turned the wrong way and went out. Let's try to take Wild's Dream and put it in there and then hit the button. Because, see, I never hit the button. I just hit the button to take it out, and that's it. Um, 
Okay, so let's take Nether Sphere. Let's put Wild's Dream in there and see if I can take it up. See what we get. Okay, so it's taken out. Maybe I never taken took it out. Then let's go to Nether Sphere. Okay. So what do we got here? What's what is this? It's a uh, made out of what? Certus quartz. Okay, so let's take some of Certus quartz out. I want to go ahead and repair this because I have done a lot of damage with that thing. What's the XP level? 244? Uh, to be honest, it's probably a good idea if I go ahead and take some more out of you. Man, guys, we're already 15 minutes into this. Uh, let's go ahead and take some torches. And it probably would not hurt to go ahead and get some arrows. I know I've got a lot of arrows, so... I want to take some carrots, too, just in case. And I won't be needing you, so I'm going to stick you in there, even though I don't like to. I'm going to stick some of you in there. <laughs> now, look at this. This is outerite. I don't know how good it is, but... You better believe I'm going to come in here and mine all this out because I am a freak when it comes to my ingots. Uh, it's, I mean, I work hard on my ingots, so a lot of people might not, but I do. I want to make sure that I can get every ingot possible because, to be honest, a lot of times they're rare. There we go. Blow yourselves back. Now see what I'm saying? This thing does loads of damage. There's a chicken. Magma cube. Crap. Only thing is, I want to protect its armor as much as possible. But I understand it's hard. Look at that. We got a plus one repair. That's what I've been waiting on. Is some repair on this thing. See, this part of the nether sphere is not that hard. It's just the part is. There we go. It's just the part is, there's a lot of guys. This thing is a massive killer when it comes to spiders. There we go. Let's see if I can take a break. Took a lot of heart damage. I've still got pretty good on my armor for right now. There we go. Come on. Here we go. What is it? Nether brick underneath there? Yeah, it's just regular nether brick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, uh, because I'm gonna do it off camera. It would be very wise to mine this stuff out. This uh so soul sand, because the color soul sand, I think you can mine, you can go ahead and stick through the. Do it, do it, do it. You know you want to. Do it. There you go. Color soul sand, you can go ahead and stick through the. The mine cam, and I think you can get quite a bit of good stuff off of it. But it's not just that; it's the you know there's there's stuff hidden underneath it. I have found, so I would strongly recommend that. Look at that; you can see it going nuts up there. Kind of looks like a bunch of arrows just flying around. That's kind of scary. And then as you can see, we got a bunch of random slime spawning. So, probably would not be a bad idea to go ahead and mine some of that out. But like I said, I'm gonna do it off camera. I don't want to bore you any more than I already have. I mean, I'm, I don't know how y'all like these episodes. I have noticed that nobody's even watching them, so I probably am just talking to myself, but hey, you don't know till you try, and that's the way I see it. I do hear some blazes. Now, this is as far as I've gotten in my test world. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you uh, before I decide to go ahead and start making uh, YouTube videos. So the farthest I got was the next layer down, and that's it. 
So anything after that may be a surprise to both of us. So we'll see. Crap, there we go. But I, I'm going to tell you now, I have mined all this stuff out, so I know what's here. The only bad thing is, is since all these updates just came in, I don't know what's changed in these chests. I just know that the farther you go down, it's the harder it is. Kind of like the, uh, the, uh, some of the other mods on, uh, what is it, dungeon mods and everything like that. I don't know really about all these names. I wonder how good this works. Oh, wow, it works really good. Guys, I hate to say this, but we might actually be doing all this on, off camera. Or on camera, I mean. Uh, we got a bunch of dynamos. That works good. Lava generator, I could have used that, but like I said, I knew it was in here. So I wasn't going to waste my time with it. Coming in here and getting it off camera. Because I know that... I wanted to, to save this ring for that specific reason. Hello, pigman. If you're wondering where all these blue slimes are coming from, it's coming from my Vulcanite uh, excavator here because of the part that it's got the slimy binding to it. It's been creating a lot of slimes, blue slimes, which I'm not, you know, it, it don't hurt me on it. It's okay, I guess. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, let's go over here and see what I've got. Look at all that. Went and maxed out my inventory. I still haven't found out what that's for. That was in my test world as well, so that's news to both of us. Trying to get me some more XP on my on my rapier. And it looks like it's about all we're gonna be able to get. Let's get some of these black ones around here. I'd like to have me some silk touch though on uh, on my pickaxe at this point. I don't have a pickaxe with silk touch on it, not as I know of, so. That does kind of suck. Um, good, we've got room for all that in there. It's good. That's what I like to hear. I like what I like to see. Uh, my Vulcanite excavator, I'm going to tell you how fast it is. I tested it and I have timed it. In less than a minute, I can fill up my inventory in that sand biome. In less than a minute. And I guess it's partially because the sand falls as you keep hitting it. So, but yeah, less than a minute, I went through and filled up my whole entire inventory on it. And I could not believe how fast it is. And I've got one modifier currently remaining on it that I just got right before the, making this episode, so I could not believe that. That was no lighting up, that was no nothing. So, I mean, that is epic, guys. <laughs> so, if you decide to make an excavator for the sand, or even if you decide to go through and make the sand, I mean, it's a good idea. We will never need any more sand. So, I don't even know how many more other worlds there are out there like that, but I can go ahead and tell you now, that's... That's, that's enough sand to last a lifetime. You can get enough sand off of that, and you can get enough silicone off of that. If you go send it through the processor or the pulverizer, you can uh, get a uh, crap load of silicone off of it if you go through and put it in the uh, mine kim. You get a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, I don't know, I've never stuck glass in mine kim, so I'm not even sure if that works. To be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this out. Now, when I've done all this off of, in my test world and taking all this out, I used just a regular shovel. 
because I didn't think about using an excavator at the time, to be honest. I mean, look at that. I've already got half an inventory just on that, and it's already taken me two minutes. Plus, I was going through and lighting it all up and everything. I want you. Come here. Come here. That's the only bad thing about uncovering all these spawners, too, without taking them out. you got all these dang slimes. I'm about to go in here and take you out. There we go. Now, you do get the spawners off of them, but unfortunately, you have to like have like a soul, soul or a soul binding somehow to, to bind a soul to it. I ain't got into any of that. I don't even really need a mob spawner, to be honest. I've got so much stuff from mobs and some XP. Man, I'm getting XP every time I smelt things. And, I mean, every time I'm going here and killing things like this. I mean, who needs XP anymore? I mean, you can go through and just get it all off of this. I've already got 12 levels just from this itself. Okay, that probably, yeah, see, that increased me up to 13, almost 14. Just taking that mob spawner out. And I'm going to tell you now, guys, from here on out, from what I've seen, there's going to be a lot, and I do mean a lot, of, of, uh, of, uh, mob spawners. So it's not like we're hurting for XP. Every time you kill an mob spawner, you get, what, one and a half XP, if not more. So it's, it's not like, it's not like we're hurting on anything. Uh, other than that, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. I've got just about all this taken out already. As you can see how fast I've taken most of this out. I do want to go ahead and take the rest of this out off camera. For the simple fact that I just don't want to bore you on the next episode. And I kind of just want to go ahead and beat through this as much as possible. And go from there. So, uh, everybody have a great day. Oh. We got another modifier, guys. I think we're going to add haste to it again. I don't know. I might add a diamond to it and make it a lot more. I uh, know. I guess emerald's 50%, so it's already got an emerald on it. I'm, I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. If you have any suggestions, just leave me a comment down below and see if anybody even watches this one. Um, other than that, guys, if you liked it, give it a rating. Give it a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. That would be, that would be really helpful, guys. Uh... Like I said, just leave a comment down below. I'd like to know who's listening and who's not. And other than that, uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next episode. This is, once again, Material Energy Hypercubed, episode number 12. I do believe it is. Yes, episode number 12. This is going to be the Nether Sphere Part 1. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day and see you in the next episode.